The Bucks are always hyped to play in front of their home crowd. And tonight's no different. Some confident players coming through the tunnel earlier. Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. The Bucks' Chris Middleton has a fan and head coach, Mike Budenholzer. Bud said, quote, he's the ultimate professional, so consistent, and he does it in a lot of different ways. At the same time, he is a great leader. The scoring and the threes, everybody sees, but I like how he's taken on leadership. Brian? Well, he's a key player for them, Allie. Well, Smitty, these two teams have been around the block a few times. Both rosters filled with veterans. No surprises tonight, B.A. These guys have faced off on various teams so many times. They know all of their opponent's tricks. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. The two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court. And it's Westbrook in at the one. And for the Bucks. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him. At forward, it's the talented Giannis and Middleton. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. Here we go. So the Clippers win the tip. Holiday against Westbrook. Pass to Leonard. Shoots a fadeaway. And he buries his first look masterful execution. Kawhi just has a sense for when to shoot the mid-range. Kumpo against Morris. And Giannis with the jam. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. They get it again. Leonard. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Anadokounmpo against Leonard. Anadokounmpo, the pass to Holiday. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. So many times, Giannis forces his man into a foul. As a defender, you can't give him anything easy. That leads to a lot of contact. And he makes a first. You gotta love Giannis's commitment to delivering a superstar performance for his team. The effort he puts out on the floor really can't be overstated. gets them both. For Los Angeles, they've gone one for three so far. Westbrook against Holiday. Pass to Leonard. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires from deep. Again, the miss by Leonard. Leonard's gone one for three from the field here. Anadokounmpo finds Middleton. And the foul on Marcus Morris. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. And it's Anadokounmpo with the miss. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Leonard against Middleton. And again, no good by the Clippers. Leonard's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. And Kawhi Leonard, one of three perimeter players to win back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Year awards. It's him, Sidney Moncrief, and a young Dennis Rodman. Here's George, following the score by Milwaukee. Rebound by Middleton. Woo, the defense gets away with a late rotation. 
That's a shot he normally makes. Here's Anadokounmpo. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. And for his career, Kawhi Leonard has more steals than fouls, Greg. You know, B.A., he and Jimmy Butler, I believe, the only two players to achieve that after a decade in the league. A pretty remarkable achievement. Now here's Anadokounmpo. He's got six. That's his third basket in five shots. Solid work. Just consistent and pretty much automatic. Antetokounmpo may be the league's most efficient scorer inside 10 feet. Here's George. Tries to snap the cold streak. The shot off that time. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. And Antetokounmpo with the basket. On the assist from Allen. Antetokounmpo has got 10. And look at Giannis using his length inside, allowing him to beat the contact and get the finish. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, he's clearly not satisfied with the lead they have. Took it to the rack and would not be denied. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. Passes to Morris, to the middle. Leonard outside. Morris, a screen on Middleton. Here's Leonard. And again, no good by the Clippers. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Will it go? And he lays it up and in. Love the finish through contact. Kawhi is even stronger than he looks. You know, thinking about the Clippers' history, those Lob City days really stand out, Smitty. Yes, B.A., one of the most fun eras in recent NBA history. Blake and DeAndre throwing down alley oops from CP3. That team had their own style, attitude. I love watching that Lob City group play. George, no good. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Kumpo, the pass to Lopez. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Yeah, and this speaks to how strong Giannis is. Able to still convert despite the physical defense. And it's a completely new group for the Clippers. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the box. Giannis Antetokounmpo at the line for Warren.
There's a minute 47 left to play in the first quarter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Batum with a screen on Middleton. The three is up. And that one's good. Man, great floor awareness. Powell knows how to find his open teammates. Ana de Kumpo with it. Picked up by Plumley. Ana de Kumpo inside. Plumley on him. And Ana de Kumpo the bucket on the assist by Lopez. Ooh, that's like velvet. That's the kind of finger roll that ends up on old highlights. Powell outside. One minute left in the first quarter. Here's Highland. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Plumley. Unforced turnovers. They'll drive your coach insane. Here's Holiday. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Middleton finds Ana de Kumpo. And Ante de Kumpo with the stuff. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Here's Plumley. Rejected by Lopez. Just an effective shot blocker. Lopez using all of that seven feet, and he does a great job of picking his spots. Oh, the block just stops it cold and takes possession. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the box, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Shooting one. Seven seconds left in the opening quarter. Powell outside. And again, no good by the Clippers. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for the Bucks. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. We'll be back in a moment. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Right out of the gates, they've been in attack mode, and I think that's by design because it has been relentless. And from the jump, they've also clearly been focused on running effective plays here tonight. And there's been a lot of high-quality distribution from them on the floor. On the floor for the Clippers. Paul George out there with Nicholas Batum. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then it's Mason Plumley, And it's Gordon in at the two guard. All right, Smitty, let's talk defense. Yes, that side of the ball. What makes a great defensive player in today's game? I think the number one thing for me is grit. Also, D is about heart and desire. The best defenders never take a playoff. They play hard all the time. They also study film, and a lot of playing defense is mental. The offensive arsenal of Giannis continuing to expand over time. This guy is a wrecking ball. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly endured his share of criticism in the past, but he said, quote, I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. 
I'm going to go out there and loop and give it everything I've got. And guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Allie. Thank you. The underrated vision of Holiday. I like it when he's distributing, and I think his coach does as well. Westbrook to pass to George. Over Middleton. George, no good. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Giannis Antetokounmpo again. Antetokounmpo has got 26. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. He's checked in for Los Angeles. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Batum. Bucks on D. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. First team foul. Coming out of the floor for your Bucks. Bobby Portis. Here's Westbrook. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. The shot no good. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of three to begin the second. Russell Westbrook's ranks on the all-time list are incredible. He's in the top 100 for points, rebounds, assists, and steals. And don't forget, he's the triple-double king. Honor to Kumpo inside, pounded by Westbrook. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Nice shot by George. And with Westbrook, is there anyone you could see breaking his triple-double record? B.A., I think Luka Doncic has a chance. He's already in the top ten on that list and has a long career ahead of him. I remember thinking no one would break Oscar's record, but Russell did it. And Milwaukee has possession. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. He's got 26. No good. Good work defensively by Leonard. Pass to Westbrook. And it's out of bounds. The Clippers able to retain possession here. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. Allen against Gordon. Takes a three. The rebound by the Bucks. cupo has got four rebounds now. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter. About three minutes gone by. Portis, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo against Leonard. Gordon outside. Pass to Leonard. 
Oh, he drilled it. He's shooting three for eight from the floor. Boy, in the paint, Kawhi Tan right through the D. Just pushing his way to a shot. Honor to Kumpo with it. He's picked up by Zubats. With the 10 footer. Honor to Kumpo. Can't connect. The Clippers have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. Westbrook, the pass to Zubats. Back to Westbrook. True on the 14 footer. Westbrook's gotten his first basket of the night. We know he prefers to shoot off the pull up, but Westbrook's showing he's capable in the catch and shoot situation. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Leonard. And the Clippers making a change here. Covington's checked in. From the inbound. Giannis with the jam. Great look by Portis. For a young player, he really understands what they're trying to do. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And Leonard with the strong finish. So explosive with the dunk. Kawhi Leonard gets up quick to slam it down. Holiday with the ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Portis finds Ana de Kumpo. Here's Allen. Ana de Kumpo inside. Working on Covington. And Ana de Kumpo with the basket on the assist from Allen. Allen's got three assists in the game. They double team George. Pass to Leonard. 4 3. He drains it. Made half his shots. He's 5 for 10 now. For a guy who hit only 25% of his threes in college, Kawhi has become one of the NBA's best at the wing position. <laughs> nice job to go at the rack and force the foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Plumlee's checked in for Zubats. Powell comes in for Leonard. Man, he's checked in for George. And it's Highland in for Russell Westbrook. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Los Angeles has gone one for three from downtown here on the second. Powell outside. Covington passes to Plumley. Here's Highland. He's covered by Holiday. Shot clock at five. Deflected. Terrific two-way player. Drew Holiday not giving an inch when he sends that one way back. And it's on to Kumpo with the miss. The Clippers have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Here's Highland. What, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Powell outside. And stolen by Ana de Kumpo. The layup is good off the glass. Anacupo's got 13 points in this quarter. And the balance Giannis has. Outstanding job taking the contact and finishing despite it. On the wingman. Let's the three fly. He can't get it to go. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks up 15 points as this quarter concludes. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. We'll be right back with you shortly.
with a big gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. When he got good position and they got the ball to him, he was automatic. I have to credit them for their patience offensively. They understood the matchup and they took the necessary time to exploit it. Inside at the four and five, it's Giannis and Portis. On the perimeter, it's Allen and Middleton. And it's Holiday in at the one. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Leonard with the ball. Portis picks him up. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. That's a flagrant one foul. Ooh, hard foul. Can't let him get away with that level of contact. That's a simple call for the officials to make. Everyone knows the league is cracking down on that kind of intimidation tactic. First free throw is good. And coming into the league, Kawhi Leonard was viewed as a raw prospect, a solid athlete and defender, but someone that needed to work on his jumper. And Leonard drops them both. Well, Smitty, there's no question Kawhi has put a lot of hours into developing his jump shot. And you see the results now. He's become one of the game's elite scorers because of the hard work he put in even becoming lethal from outside the arc. Lopez, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Oh, a flawless finish on the lob. For a number of seasons, Russell Westbrook has averaged double-digit assists. Oh, and the jam by Giannis! Beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. The Clippers really having a tough go here. Pass to Leonard. Over Middleton. Leonard can't get it to go. The Bucks shooting 59% in this one. A good average. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Leonard's got rebound number eight now. Westbrook, the pass to Morris. Offline with a three. The Bucks have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Here's Ana de Kumpo. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to go on Paul George. One of the only ways to slow down Ante de Kumpo is to get physical with him. But you know what? That may not work. He is so good at absorbing contact in the paint. First one falls. Perfect from the line this time. And here on the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Westbrook against Holiday. Here's Leonard. And again, it's the Clippers missing. And Milwaukee has possession. And on a Kumpo, here we go. Misses the baby hook. The Clippers have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Leonard with the ball. Middleton covering. Leonard can't get it to go. Leonard's gone five for 13 tonight from the floor. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Second foul. On defense, the Clippers. 17-point game. Anadokounmpo against Morris. 
Anacupo can't connect. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Spins. Zubats against Lopez. George outside, six to shoot. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got five rebounds in the game. Ana Nakumpo with it. Guarded now by Morse. Ana Nakumpo inside. He's working on Morris. Ana Nakumpo can't connect. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. DeRozan attracts so much defensive attention. He's learned to use those opportunities to find teammates. Now here's Ana Nakumpo. Give him 39. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. So for the Clippers, Batum comes in for Zubats. And it's Gordon in for Leonard. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. And Giannis with the jam. And sometimes it seems like Giannis can dunk without any effort at all. He just glides to the rim like it was nothing. Now here's Batum. George for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Anacupo has got eight rebounds in the game. And for Paul George, playing close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity. Greg. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals. But without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of. At the line for Milwaukee, Giannis Antetokounmpo taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops a first. For the Clippers, Bumley's checked in for Morris. Norm Powell comes in for Paul George. And it's Mann in for Russell Westbrook. off on the second. Middleton passes to Lopez. And the ball out of play. The Clippers will have it. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Pass to Gordon. Powell outside. Plumley a screen on Middleton. Powell passes to Plumley, And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second team foul. And the line for the Clippers. Mason Plumley. Two shots. First one at the line is good. So he hits one of two from the strike. Second chance shot. Out to Gordon. Back to Powell from the arc. Clippers keep it alive. Plumley. They have a number of cracks at it. Just came away empty handed. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Earning his money on the interior tonight. That's a nice move. Los Angeles has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Plumley a screen on Allen. Gordon with it. And Lopez picks him up for three. Powell. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lopez has got rebound number seven tonight. Here's Ante de Kumpo. And Ante de Kumpo with the stuff. <laughs> when Giannis starts to drive, the defense knows it's in trouble. He powers right through them. 
The Clippers call timeout. Checked in for Gordon. A minute thirty seven left in the third quarter. Here's Highland. He's covered by Holiday. Releases. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Milwaukee with the ball. They're on an 11 to 3 run. Here's Powell. And he gets that one. Powell's got his first bucket in this one. Woohoo! Just great work cashing in on the fast break. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Now here's Anadokounmpo. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And they double up Anadokounmpo. The rebound by Mann. Los Angeles has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Pass to Batum. There's the 3. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Covington's checked in for the Clippers. Coming out to the floor for the Clippers, Robert Covington. There's 45 seconds left in the third quarter here. Here's Powell. That one rolls around and rims out. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Shots good by Amada Kumpo. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Pass to Powell. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Five on the clock. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Here's Highland. And again, no good by the Clippers. Anadokounmpo for three. Giannis Anadokounmpo has been on display for the Milwaukee Bucks. Piling up the numbers that quarter. Already, he's got a double-double. Back after this. Time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another.
And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. The Clippers shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. And so in the game for the Clippers, the two-way threats of George and Leonard of the wing pair. Even to Zubats out there with Robert Covington. And it's Westbrook in at the point. His ability to change his pace and direction is so quick. That's one of the reasons Westbrook is special when handling the rock. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Here are the Clippers. Pass to Leonard. Over Middleton. And there's Leonard on the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fourth assist with that last one. Kawhi Leonard will never shy away from carrying the offensive load. He can step up and do that for his team. Middleton finds on to Kumpo. Now Holiday. On to Kumpo inside. Covered by Covington. He is the story for them offensively and a big reason why they're ahead. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Here's Leonard. Here's Zubats. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. The Clippers making a switch here. Morris has checked in. Milwaukee shooting 56% today. Pass to Anadokounmpo, and that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will keep it. it up and banks it in. anadokounmpo has got 54 points. Like a matador. Olay! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Now here's Zubats. Morris for three. Sinks the tray. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Here's Anadokounmpo. The incomparable length. I mean, Giannis with those big strides and the reach to finish against anyone. Timeout called. The Clippers. Time now to present our new balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, and this game really has his fingerprints all over it. He's been dominating and making it look effortless. It's always fun to watch someone just flat out take over like he's done here today. Hey, these fans love him so much, and when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Holiday against Westbrook. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul.
Milwaukee on D. Morris on the wing. Anadokounmpo covering. Capable of defending every position on the floor. Giannis's long arms and athleticism wreak havoc on this end. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Something I've noticed is how aggressive they've been on driving the basketball. Time and time again, they've turned cracks in the defense into points. Yeah, all game long, they've been also playing well inside in the paint. Lots of points are coming their way thanks to them attacking the interior. He's off on the first. He hits the second from the line. The Bucks have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Here's Anadokounmpo. Got a piece of it. Another shot. And it's good on the layup. Anadokounmpo has got 58. The reach of Giannis really helps out here, allowing him to beat out the defense and win a second chance shot. And it's Westbrook that time on the assist by Leonard. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. Anadokounmpo up top, guarded by Morris. Anadokounmpo against Morris. And they double up Anadokounmpo. Zubats with the steal. Here's Leonard. And the dunk by Leonard. It feels like Kawhi never takes a false step. Everything he does is with purpose. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got assist number five here tonight. The Bucks have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Anadokounmpo with it. Guarded now by George. Third person in the final. So he comes up empty, missing both. The Clippers have gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Leonard passes to Westbrook. Back to Leonard. Three-pointer. Kicks it to George. There's the triple. Connects from downtown. A reliable jump shooter. Paul George's accuracy only goes up when he catches in rhythm. The Bucks shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Anadokounmpo with it. He's picked up by Westbrook. Good. He hits again. 60 points. This guy can't be stopped right now. They've had no answer for him in this one. Morris for three. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Morris has got six points in the quarter. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. At the line for the Bucks. Giannis has to go
calls for him. He does not get the second one. The Clippers running out of time. For three, George. Some solid defense from Holiday. George has gone one of five on three-point drives. Anadokounmpo inside. Pounded by Westbrook. Anadokounmpo, that's good. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Now here's Westbrook. Ana Kumpo with it. Guarded now by Morris. 14 feet away. And it's Ana Kumpo with the miss. Made that shot a little harder than it had to be. No one around him. Just rise straight up and drill it. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Bucks. They were the more accurate club. And in the end, that made the difference, Grant. The B.A., you have to love their strategy. And even more, you love the execution. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He played with a lot of fire, a lot of heart, especially on the glass. He's one of those guys who acts like every rebound is his. And many of them were tonight. will go for a different look here. Covington's checked in for Morris. Gordon comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Man, he's checked in for George. And it's Highland in for Westbrook. Would have been nice to drain them all, but he did enough to put this one in the bag. Out to Covington. The three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. That's a wrap. Those free throws being the nail in the coffin. And short of a miracle, they're walking out of here with a tough loss. They fought all night. A terrific effort. But they just couldn't make enough big plays. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Gordon. Covington, a screen on Middleton. Just five to shoot. Here's Gordon. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lana Kumpo outside. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And now we have Ali LaForce standing with the player of the game. Ali, take it away. Giannis, an impressive performance. Talk about what this game showed you about your team. Well, this game was great. I think everybody came out ready. Everybody played great. We were moving the ball and knocking down shots, but most importantly, we were playing great defense. But at the end of the day, it's just a win. We got to build up this. We got to go back to the gym, watch film, and get better. It's just one piece of a greater goal. That's right. Thanks, Giannis. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. We'll see you next time.